Welcome students. Once again, today's lesson is going to be on describing connections. We're going to be working in our I Ready Reading book on pages 75 and page 76. Our story for today that we're going to be making connections with is Elizabeth Leads the Way. And if you remember when we read this book, we learned that this is about the life of a young lady named Elizabeth Katie Staten and the right to vote. In order for us to make connections, we need to know how to describe the connection between two of in individuals, events, ideas, or pieces of information with prompting and support, order events in the correct sequence, and identify cause and effects in a pair of events. Now let's quickly review what we went over on yesterday. Describing connections. To connect means to fit together. Events and ideas in informational text can connect in different ways. There are two types of connections. The first type of connection is when events follow each other in time order. Remember time order boys and girls is the sequence of events that happens from a starting point and they keep following each other from one event to the next, happening in order. Our example here are new leaves grow in spring, flowers bloom in summer. So first the new leaves have to grow in the springtime and after they grow, the flowers can bloom in the summertime. The second type of connection that we're going to talk about, or we talked about already, is one event or idea causing another cause and effect. Because one happened, then something else happened after that. So, a lot of rain falls at once, rivers rise and flood. So, because a lot of rain fell at one time, then the rivers rose and flooded. Describing connections between events and ideas helps us to understand and remember key details in a story. Now, today, we're going to be turning to page 75 in our books, and we're going to be using the story, Elizabeth Leads the Way, and we're going to be referring back to pages 8 and pages 9. All right, so before we go in to the connections, I want us to revisit Elizabeth Leads the Way. I want you to think about the story. What are some of the things that took place in this story? We know that in the beginning of the story, Elizabeth was a young girl, and she learned from hearing uh, other women talk around her and by listening to her father that women did not have the right to vote. They did not have the right to change laws. Uh, a girl's life was considered to be harder than that of a boy. And Elizabeth was not pleased with that. She became very upset. She wanted to do something about it. She wanted to bring about a change. And she figured the way to do that was for women to obtain the right to vote. So it says, read about an idea and event in this part of the book. The idea says, the law said that nothing could belong to a woman without a husband. The event was Elizabeth was horrified by this unfairness. Now, the question that we want to answer on today is, what kind of connection links this idea to this particular event. And our hint in the blue box says, did one event cause the other to happen? Let's go back now and read pages eight and nine to see if we can answer this question. Page eight, she was 13 years old when her father, Judge Katie, told a woman whose husband had died that the farm she had spent her whole life working on would be taken from her. Without a husband, 
the law stated nothing belonged to her. Page nine, Elizabeth was horrified by this unfairness. She said that the law should be cut out of every book. Judge Katie told her that wouldn't change anything. The law was still the law and only men were allowed to change laws. As we see in the picture, Elizabeth came very upset. And what did she say? Preposterous. She decided right then and there that she could do anything that any boy could do. So she made up her mind she was going to do something about it. So now that we've read those two particular pages, let's go back and reread the idea and the event. The law said that nothing could belong to a woman without a husband. The event, Elizabeth was horrified by this unfairness. So did one event cause the other to happen? Yes, when Elizabeth found out that nothing could belong to a woman without a husband, she became horrified as we can see from the picture in the book. So we would say that what? The idea causes the event to happen. The idea causes the event to happen. And we're going to go back and we're going to type this answer on the lines and you can write this answer along in your book. So we said that the idea causes the event to happen. Once again, we wanna make sure that we're answering our questions in complete sentences. A complete sentence begins with a capital letter and it ends with a punctuation mark. The sentence that we just wrote makes a statement, so we want to make sure that we end it with a period, with a period. Okay, so, once again, our answer to this question is the idea causes the event to happen. I want you, if you have time, to, if you have a brother or sister, you can discuss this with them, or you can discuss it with your parent or someone else that you may be able to talk with over the phone. But I want you to describe to your brother or sister, um, a parent, whoever you would like to, the connection between this idea and the event. And you can use your text evidence to support your thinking by going back and looking at the two pages that we read from Elizabeth Leads the Way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to page 76. We're going to go ahead and finish up today on describing connections. Now, <clears throat> this says read about an idea and an event in this particular part of the book. So the idea was colleges would not let girls in. The event <clears throat> was Elizabeth begged her father to send her to a girl's school. We need to read pages 12 and 13 in the book in order to be able to connect this idea to this event and answer our question. Our question says, what kind of connection links the idea and the event? Our hint is, did one event cause the other to happen? Okay. Page 12. At 16, since colleges would not let girls in, Elizabeth begged her father to send her to a girl's school to continue her learning. Page 13, 
So while most young ladies were getting married, washing clothes, doing laundry, and having babies, Elizabeth was studying religion, math, science, French, and writing. So, because the colleges would not allow girls in, Elizabeth did what? She begged her father to send her to an all-girls school for learning. So while all of these other girls were doing all these different things, Elizabeth was working hard, she was studying, and she was learning. And I believe that girls should have the same opportunities as boys. So if you want to achieve something, I feel that you should be able to have the opportunity to do so. So let's go back. So now we need to describe the connection between these events. Did they happen in time order? Or did one event happening cause the other event to happen? We would say in this, on these particular two pages, page 12 and 13, that the idea caused the event to happen because colleges would not let girls in. So Elizabeth did what? She begged her father to send her to a girls' school. So let's go and type our answer. And we're going to say once again, the idea causes the event to happen. The idea causes the event to happen. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson, boys and girls. Make sure that you go back after watching this video and that you type your answer in for both of the questions in your workbook on pages 75 and 76. And also, boys and girls, you can describe the relationship between the idea and the event by using your text evidence to support your thinking. So while you're talking to a classmate, to a friend, complete the turn and talk activities on page 75 and page 76. See you again soon, boys and girls. Have a wonderful day.